Corporal Taberi, who is a military officer, was sent on a mission to the north, where he was shot on his left arm by the terrorist group Boko Haram. His arm became condemned, and after being to several hospitals, his only solution was amputation. He then traveled to India, where he had a surgery, and the bones in his left arm were replaced with metal. Since then, Corporal Tabere could not move his arm or use it to do anything. He came to the Healing Line of Faith and Miracle International Church for a permanent solution. I am Copra Tabere Barene. I'm from River State. I reside here in Ibadan. I work with the military. I'm a military personnel. 2014, I was sent to Medjugorje Northeast area of Nigeria, Damasak local government. 2015 stroke 16. I was shot. I was shot by the Boko Haram there. And uh, 2017, I was took to India for my medical treatment after much struggling. I've been around Nigeria. All the orthopedic doctors in Nigeria said they cannot do it except they amputate my hand, which I refuse. I've been to the best hospital in Nigeria. When I mean the best, the best in Nigeria, I, uh, so you can think of. I've been there. I've been to like three different hospitals. I went to one hospital called Cedar Crest in Abuja, which I spent close to three million there also. I I've been in 44 in Kaduna, I spent more than two years on, on hospital bed there in Kaduna, before I went to India in one hospital called uh, Artemis where I did the surgery. They managed the hand to this stage now, but still yet I could not use the hand for anything. Actually, my, my first treatment to India was sponsored by the government, but only it took time. And uh, the doctor said I need to come back for the second phase of the surgery. And uh, ever since then, they finished my medical board, they finished it and they gave me my copy and said they will call on me to go back for the second phase of the surgery. But since they've not approved it, anything is delaying and I'm suffering in pains. The hand has no bone except the iron they put in India. Presently, I've been managing myself under two deep medical center, in the military hospital in Odubobarak at Ojo. Since I was shot, 2016, today, I've been having pain. Even as I'm sitting with you, I'm going through pain. As it is now, I can't use the hand to do anything. Anything. I cannot lift four liter. I cannot lift two liter oh, things all oh, with the hand. I cannot do anything with the hand. The, the only thing is, the hand is part of me as in, it's my hand. That is just the only thing. I cannot lift it up except I support it with the second hand. As you can see in the medical report, I can no longer hold weapon. As a soldier, I can't. I cannot hold weapon. I'm demoralized now. Presently, since 215 written, now I've not been to work. I'm only in the house. I only went to office to sign sometime and go back home. I feel bad because I couldn't do what I needed to do. I cannot use the hand. I will be scared even to sleep on this part of my body. I I could not. This is my first time in faith and Miracle Intervention Church. Two days ago, I was with a friend. We were sitting in the parlor when he talked about the man of God and how the man of God had been walking. And I am a Christian. I believe there is nothing God cannot do. So when you talk about the man of God, something just come in me that I have seen my miracle. So I started stopping him to bring me here. And that was how he brought me here this morning. So I I come here to seek for help for God to heal, give me permanent healing. What happened to you, my brother? I was shot in November 2015 in Medugrin, North Are East. you a soldier? Yes, sir. 
So I they did medical board for me 2017. Corporal Tabe. Tabe. I went to India for the first surgery. Can we see where you shot you? Yes. Sorry, a yep. case of gunshot injury to the left limb, causing muscle wasting. I wasting. went to India 2017 for the first surgery. I supposed to go back for another correction of surgery. They did the ball 2018, and ever since then till now, they did not approve it because the little compensation that they supposed to give to me. Okay, come on, stand up. Look here. Causing muscle wasting, wrist drop, and inability to be to extend the fingers for the past six years after about two surgeries. Our Father in the Lord is there ministering to him for healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. Watch his finger, watch as the fingers are vibrating as the man of God is ministering to him. The hand that could not move before, look at that. Watch him, watch him. The hands that he's not been able to use for the past six years, watch them move as the man of God ministers to him and the power of the Holy Spirit to the glory of God. Lifting the hands to the glory of God, people of God, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Thank you. If you just pray to the glory of God, put your hands Thank together, you. give God praise. It is our praise. After the prayer from the man of God, Corporal Tiberi, who was shot in his left arm, who could not lift his arm or do anything with it, can now do the things that he could not do before, as he testifies to the glory of God. What a mighty God we serve. My name is Copra Tabere Bari Ine. I serve with 81 Battalion, Mokola Barak Ibadan. 2015, I was shot in Medugiri, Northeast, Damasak local government. And I was brought to 44 on the 11 November 2015. So I spent two years on the hospital bed. Everywhere I went, they said these amputations, that they want to amputate my hand. And I said no, that nobody will amputate my hand. And they took me to Cedar Crest, Abuja, one of the best orthopedic hospitals in Nigeria. They took me to ABU Zaria, one of the best orthopedic hospitals also. They took me to Dara Kanu, one of the best hospitals. And all they were saying is amputations, and they brought me back to 44. And I spent two years on bed. Later, they took me to India for this surgery you are seeing. I did this surgery, 2017. Even after the surgery, I could not raise the hand. I cannot move the hand. I cannot do anything with the hand. But the only good news was that they did not amputate it. I cannot raise it. I cannot do anything with it. I cannot lift anything up. Now I can raise my hand. I can use my finger. I can carry four liters of jerry can with this hand now. And uh, when the, all these things were happening, when I came to this place, the moment I stepped in here, 
I told myself there is Christ here. I said the problem I've solved. The moment I step in here. Because I, something in me, there was something changes around me. Three days later, after I left this place, my elder brother called me and said, God revealed to him that every chain that was tied in me is broken. I said, that is the handwork of the man Zion. I know. I have a vehicle I was using. At the time, the chassis break, the engine seat break. Such vehicle, you cannot use it. So I was looking for a way to sell it for me to buy another thing. Everybody I called to buy, they would say, I got this and Abusha, I go, go give. So I went to gate one faithful day to look for a busher to buy. Even busher could not price it. I said, ah, how will I do this kind of one? I don't have money and my condition, I need to be mobile. So three days ago, I just did my house. Somebody come and say, oh, God, is this your vehicle? I need you must sell for me. I said, this is the handwork of my Zion. Inside my mind, I was like, how do I use this money to get another smaller something? And all of a sudden, somebody just come and say, I have one that you can manage. I say, how much? He said, 400. And I'm having 400 with me. So I just bought it. And it's, it's, it's buy and drive. It's not buy and repair. So I give glory to God. And uh, <laughs> yesterday morning, the same hospital that abandoned me since 2019, that they did the second board for me to travel back for the correction of surgery, they called on me yesterday morning that I should send my last my date of admission and last date of admission, I should send for them that they have a plan for me. Though they've not told me what is the plan, but I just believe my Zion have done it. So I sent to them. That was when I was on the hospital bed. This is my colleague, Stab Juvri. The both of us were short. Both of you were short? Yes. So, sir. You kept mentioning 44. 44. What is 44? Yes. It's the Nigerian Military Me Medical Reference Center. Okay. Now, let's start from... Uh, you said you were taken to transfer to Medjugorje to go and serve. As what, sir? You know, there's, there's a fight going on there between the terrorists and the country. Let me use that word. Hmm. So, it is only we, the soldiers, that can go there to pull them out wherever they capture. So, that was why I was sent there. So it was uh, one of the terrorists that shot you? Yes, ma'am. What and what are those things you could not use the hand for? I wish I can see like four liters of can water. I can carry it. We can do better than that, people of God. Give God praise. God of Mount Zion. Give him praise. And you are even suspending the chairs. You are using the same hand to drive now. Yes, ma'am. That last Sunday was your first time of coming yes, here. Yes, ma'am. And when you were coming here, sir, what were your expectations? To be honest, from what my friend said, he, he said the man will never demand for anything. So when I was coming, I just believed there is God, yeah. Sir, you will do something for us again. Okay, ma'am. Because some people were not around last week Sunday. We still want to see the mark of the gunshot. First thing we are noticing here, on the healing line, when the man of God said he should remove his uh, dress, that other hand was just dangling. Somebody had to help him, but today nobody is helping him to remove his clothes. Yes, sir, can, can we see the, the, where the bullet entered from? Wow. All this he could not do last Sunday. You, my I was shot in November 2015 in Medugrin, North Are East. you a soldier? Yes, sir. 
So I they did medical board for me 2017. Corporal Tabe. Tabe. I went to India for the first surgery. Can we see where you shot you? Yes. Sorry, a yep. case of gunshot injury to the left limb, causing muscle I wasting. I went to India 2017 for the first surgery. I supposed to go back for another correction of surgery. Stand up. Look here. Causing muscle wasting, wrist drop, and inability to be to extend the fingers for the past six years after about two surgeries. Our Father in the Lord is there, ministering to him for healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. Mm. Watch his finger. Watch as the fingers are vibrating as the man of God is ministering to him. That could not move before. Look at that. Washing, washing the hands that he's not been able to use for the past six years. Watch them move as the man of God ministers to him and the power of the Holy Spirit to the glory of God. Lift the hands to the glory of God, people of God. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Day, we saw that you could not use that hand. Your shoulder was dropping. Yes. And the finger w were just there, uh, lifeless. Yes. But when the man of God started ministering to you without touching you, yes. your finger started responding to him. Yes. And your hand. Yes. And later we saw that your hand was going, going up. up. Yes, ma'am. What was happening to you then? Miracle. Yes. Miracle. Miracle, yes, that is in fact, there is God, yeah. There is God, yeah. There is and God. now you can use your hand to lift things, yes. You can use your hand to drive, yes. And I want to ask you, are you still serving in the military? Yes, from what we saw on that report, it was there that something was put in your hand, like yeah. an implant. Yes, they call it total able replacement. Okay. There's no bone that control as able, it's iron. That means in this your hand, the bone is no longer there. They put iron there. Yes. And the iron turned to bone. Yes. You are able to lift your hand. Yes. When the iron was there, that was when you could not use the hand. Yes. But when the God of this mountain turned the iron to bone. Yes. You I'm are using, able to... I'm using my hand now. And when you started sharing your testimony, you said you were taken to the best hospitals. 44. From to, 44 to... to Cedar Crest. To Cedar Crest. Cedar Crest to, to ABU Zaria. To ABU Zaria. To Dara in to, Kano. To Dara in Kano. Oh, yeah. Then you, they, they, they took you back, back to 44, 44 where you spent two years. Yes, on the bed. And you said all these hospitals, they are the best. Also, then you went to India again. Yes, ma'am. I went to India in one hospital called Artemis. They now brought you to Mount Zion to meet the CMG, Senior Prophet G.F. Adesuberu. You now have an encounter with the God that heals through the hand of his servant. Which one is the best hospital? It's Manzion. And you were not admitted for one day. You were not put on the bed for one day. One second. Sir. You just sat there. Yes, and the surgery was done. Yes. Without shedding your blood. Yes. Without cutting you open. Yes, ma'am. Put your hands together, people of God. This is Manzion. Land of deliverance and holiness. And you are even using the same hand to clap. Yes, yes, yes. Go I ahead want, and do I the want clapping. To clap for God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, sir, I will still ask you, how much did you pay that day? I didn't pay then. I didn't pay Kobo. I came here and received my healing freely. 
And people are on the healing line this morning. Some people are not on the healing line. What advice do you have for them? My advice to every one of us is, don't doubt the man of God. Just have faith, believe, and key into every miracle that have happened here. If they do for Mr. A and he walk, why Mr. B not go walk? So that is my advice. Can you swing your hand like this? a soldier and give the God of my father a short parade and a salute. And cover you with flesh. I will lay sand news upon you and cover you with flesh. To so the God of Senior Prophet here for this To so three, four, five, six. Put your hands together and give God praise people of God. Wow. To the God of my Father. It's still happening, happening. Miracle can still happen. If you have been blessed by this video, like, follow, and share.